What's up Average Dad fans? Welcome back to another video and today I am going to tell you why I love the iPhone 13 Pro Max but I'm sticking with the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Find out why straight after this. So, first up, let's talk about the 13. The iPhone 13 is a phenomenal piece of hardware and software. There is no getting around it. So, good points. Build quality, software experience, user experience, battery, cameras. When I mention all these, I mean class leading. Class leading cameras in the 13 lineup, particularly in the Pro variants. Battery. Mr. Who's the Boss always watches battery tests when the new iPhone comes out. 9 hours and 52 minutes. Yes, nearly 10 hours of screen on time. So you could watch my YouTube videos on a loop all day and it probably would kill your phone. That's phenomenal. You should do that. And while you're watching all of my videos on a loop, Hit the like button and subscribe. Awesome. Cameras. Same triple camera setup that you get in a 12. However, slightly better sensors all round. Letting more light in, which has a dramatic impact on the night mode photography. It's now almost class leading. I would say it is class leading. Better portrait photos, which Apple have always been kind of leading the way on. And their Pro variants now have a three times optical zoom rather than 2.5. And that's, so three times optimal optical is your, almost your optimum. You can maybe push it to five. After that, it just gets a bit too grainy, no matter what phone you've got. So three times works really well. Obviously, Apple don't want to sacrifice on quality, so they kind of cap it at that. You can digitally go, go further in, not recommended. Hence why it's just a three times optical zoom. The screen, the screen is now the same OLED 6.7 inch panel, but with 120 hertz refresh rate. We'll get to that. I'm going to keep it positive just now. Um, and that's it as far as differences. Same steel casing all the way around with, or aluminium casing with that glass back, smudge resistant material, ceramic shield on the front. Yeah, works well. My 12 Pro Max is and it's not for sale because I am keeping it immaculate. Not a single scratch, plenty of smudges from fingerprints on it, but not a single scratch or any signs of wear, to be honest at all. Even around the charging port, which is normally where you get it because you're always plugging your charger in, nowhere. So those are all the good points. I'm not gonna go too much into detail about the cameras. Mr. Who's the Boss has done a really good camera test and a comparison, ultimately, iPhones are amazing cameras. They're, they're getting closer and closer to completely replacing a DSLR camera or a mirrorless camera when you want to create content. The movie modes has always been top. I will not take any argument about that. Apple do the best video capture. They've added in cinematic mode, which to me, I ain't a hardcore creator. Certainly not video, um, movies, anything like that. But cinema, 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 cinematic mode, it's proper good, really is, looks really cool, just everyday videos, filming the kids, messing around, works really well, the, the focus tracking and the speed in which it does it and that um, blur that it all does through computation, it really is unbelievable, again Aaron, as through the boss, has, has kind of said, two or three years time, they are going to completely make DSLRs redundant and they will, I, I truly believe that. Other good points is the software itself. So the software, it's iOS, you now have widgets, which you've had for a year. You, it all looks very good. Anybody, and this is what Apple tried to achieve is, if you're 14 
or 94, no exaggeration, you can work an iPhone. Your settings menu is clear visually and also everything's where it should be. You pick up an Android phone, some Android phones, particularly from the Asian market, <laughs> it is tough. It is hard to know where to find certain things. iOS, you never have that issue. And everything just works. This is the other thing. From iPhone 3 onwards, arguably, everything always just works. My 12 Pro Max has never failed. I should say, I don't play Genshin Impact. I don't game on my phone. Maybe a couple of Sonic Racing arcade games. So nothing too intensive from that respect. But it always just loads up instantly. Your photos, unless it's night mode, you know, it takes a few seconds to process, but the, the final results are outstanding. Everything just works. My phone's never crashed. Android phones, which I use throughout the year, have glitches, let's just say. So yeah, works really, really well. So now let's talk about the potentially bad points. Well, it is bad for me. I'm just gonna say it here. I, this is the reason why I'm not buying the phone or a couple of reasons why I'm not buying a phone. So, first up, I prefer the Pacific Blue over the Sierra Blue. That's kind of material, I know that, I put a case on it anyway, but that's just how I feel. And speaking of cases, I, as you may be aware, I'm quite an, uh, an Apple fanboy. So I collect cases, numerous cases. I think I've got about 10 or 11 in total. I know it's a new phone, I know it's a new year and they don't always have to, you know, make them compatible with old cases. However, if you are keeping your phone to the exact same design and specifications pretty much than your previous model, because let's be honest here, this isn't a 13 per se, this is a 12S, the new one, it's a small increment. You should make it that the cases fit, but they don't. I have around 500 pounds worth of cases. I know, I'm an idiot, but I do. And none of them will fit on the 13 Pro Max. Why? Because of the camera bump. Because the lenses are slightly bigger, the casing around the lenses is and I've not measured, but I think it's one millimeter, if that, bigger, the bump around. And what that means is, the this is actually a 13 Pro Max case, which I really like and conveniently fits in a 12 Pro Max, so I'm keeping it. Because the issue isn't that that is too big for the 12 Pro Max, the issue is that that is too small for the 13 Pro Max and that really, really annoys me. That's the main reason I'm not moving permanently to the 13 Pro Max. Am I right in doing that? Or am I wrong? You can let me know in the comments, but that's why I'm not doing it. I guess other reasons are it's, if you want ProRes, you have to get the 256 gigabyte version. So if we just quickly talk price on the 13 Pro Max, it is, £1,149 or $1,199 to get the ProRes because you need 256 gigabytes of storage. This is not worth upgrading if you have a 12 already. Absolutely not. I kind of debated when I made a 12 Pro Max video that if you've got the 11, Maybe you'd want to upgrade because of the new design. But if you've got the 12, it's the exact same design. It's the exact same. Other than <laughs> somehow, and it's noticeable, I can feel it right now, the weight, this is like 30 grams heavier than this. Don't know why, but it is. Is it a slightly bigger battery? I don't think it is, I think it's just the software, it's maybe a bit of a bigger battery, and we know the battery life is good, so it's not a knock on it, it's just, yeah, it's a bit heavier, so it's now basically a bowling ball in your pocket. So yeah, that's my that's my uh, thoughts on the 13 Pro Max and why I'll not be upgrading. 
I want to give you food for thought. If you're sitting with a 12 and you feel like, mm, I should maybe upgrade, don't do it. Don't do it, even if you're a professional photographer. Don't do it, because I'll guarantee if you're a professional photographer, you use your DSLR or mirrorless camera. So, yeah, stick with your 12, save your money. Bigger and better things will happen next year with the 14. I can almost guarantee it, but I will guarantee it. Any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, hit like. If you've not subscribed yet, which uh, I think around 94% of the people watching, according to my YouTube analytics are, haven't subscribed, so why not hit subscribe? Doesn't cost you anything, yet. Take care.